announce the stream. <laughs> it's so well animated. <laughs> yeah. He's got KFC budget for this. <laughs> yeah. How are they doing that with this? It's so well. Where they <laughs> needed some marketing, so they made a dating sim for it. That's kind of niche, right? <laughs> that is. It's kind of like Arby's and their yeah. advertisements, you know. Yeah, they're 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 getting the young crowd. Yes. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah. The young crowd. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't date anyone else other than the colonel, though. Well, can you date the chicken? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> eh, actually, I don't know. Alright, my fellow gamers. Shall we begin, gamers? Let's fucking go. Let's so, love Colonel Sanders. <laughs> what is love, Colonel Sanders? What is love? What maybe is love? don't hurt me. Maybe you don't, yeah, maybe yeah. you don't hurt me. Very good. I watched that movie. Man, that was like an hour and a half, That's... two hours of just... Like Chris Kattan and and uh, Will Ferrell just shitting on a film reel. It was great. <laughs> what movie? Not at the Roxbury. I didn't oh. even know that was a movie. I was just thinking about the song. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. So KFC's social media team made a video game to market the, themselves, and so we're gonna play this ad for you. You're welcome, yeah. AFC. You're welcome. Thanks for all the no money anyone's gonna receive. To be fair, I don't even buy KFC. I don't no, either. I, actually, I, I have <laughs> fried chicken right here, and I got it at Aldi. Poppins? Yeah. I can only eat that, like, once in a year. Fair. Um... That good? Sure. That sounds like a thing. How? Oh, that sounds. Maybe I stole that from something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds know. familiar to me for some reason. I don't know why, but the first thing that came to mind was poop my shards 420. That's the first thing. Shards. Yes. Four. Too good. I, I thought it would be funny to have something that be 420. Alright. Base skates! Base skates! Base skates! Oh, base skates. Base skates, man. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Oh. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh. Smack that clock. Smack him. Smack him, yak him. <laughs> Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at this prestigious university of cooking school, academy, academy for learning. Hard. Your mind begins to wander. We'll be there. What will you cook? What will you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. <laughs> Tiger wants the chicken. Uh, think about the future? Yeah. I, I can daydream a bit. It's here, finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. So much hell your life's about to become. <laughs> yeah! Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. But does the biscuit come standard? Or do or you put it in your mouth and you run? Yeah. What am I looking at here? Like, is this you. BTS? What is this? Um... 
Yeah, it probably is like some white band. Delicious. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Oh no. Awesome. Standing in the. <laughs> Standing in the quad. <laughs> Standing in the quad. You're standing in the quad. <laughs> oh god, what was the thing? It's like, do you want to do the horizontal hokey pokey on some freshman 15s in the quad? Yeah, that's what it was. Ugh. Was that six headed shark attack? No, that was Eric Andre. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Here comes your lifelong friend, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, poop my shards 420. <laughs> Are you excited for the first day of the rest of your of our lives? So shards, right? Are they like yeah. glass? Or? I don't know. It's poop my shards. I it's was a thinking command. wood shards. Okay. So like so you're splinters? like a wood chipper, but for feces, or um, you maybe are a wood those, chipper with feces. Maybe you're yes. those, one, of, one of those people that like can ingest anything, and so you do, and uh, so and you're just like do. shitting out some shards. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm because I sure am excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Sometimes food so, is just food. It's like yeah. not even the first day. Yeah, I didn't even practice yet. Just that, make some eggs because you just need to eat sustenance yeah. and get the that, fuck out that of and like That reminds me of some, like, judge on, like, American Idol or some shit. It's like, oh, it just didn't pop enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to tell you. It's just giving you this criticism that you can't, like, use. <laughs> yeah. You need to pop more. It's like, can it you needs, be more specific? It needs please? to pop a little more. It needs to have a little more of that, that it factor. <laughs> it needs to be it. It needs to be it. And you're like, I don't know what that means. But okay. Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. They had a box. Full yep. Of quicksand. Yeah. That is sweet. Oh, wait. Yeah, what that the is... fuck? <laughs> I'm glad you're all thinking about that now. I'm going to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is criminal. Yeah, it's <laughs> criminal negligence, probably. <laughs> Could I have one of these? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School Academies for learning famous three-day only semesters. What? I'm afraid. This is bullshit! That, <laughs> I want no, three-day only that's semesters. Like, that's like a camp. That's yeah. a camp. Yeah, a crash course. Yeah. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. In the summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Ugh. Oh. You should should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Come on. Pep talk. Pep talk. Remember last month when you saw that fortune teller and had her tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with the mask gave me nightmares. I'm trying to forget. Oh, whoops. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Hmm. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower and that other card featuring a handsome fellow in the red suit? Been waiting for so oh blah, for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could claim as my property. Oh. And I'm mm. <laughs> and I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. You talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves beginning to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? You definitely. <laughs> Whoa! I uh cannot believe it. 
before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Ah, this happened to me all the time in middle school. Really? It happened to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. With your uh, custom engraved measuring spoons? Yeah, all of my custom engraved measuring mm. spoons always on the ground. <laughs> it was so yeah. annoying. Hey. It's Ashley. 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 Your yeah, arch rival. She's totally evil, but she can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Nope. Can't, can't come up here. An awful lot of animals in this room. <laughs> Good lord. Ah! Another one. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, God. They're all moving. Oh, oh they're all leaving. <laughs> No, nope, there's Norris. The, the, the cat? Okay. There's one. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll grab him. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, we just need to get Sergeant here, and I have Hello, all, all three cats. H oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> Damn. Wow. You leave Poop My Shards 420's shins alone. <laughs> They're perfectly normal shins. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't stand Ashley. Even though her name is annoying, you know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, and she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Cross the quad! You see Ashley's best friend. <laughs> Van Van the Man Man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. Does his he fancy... have a van? And is it the okay kind or the not okay kind? Who knows? I don't. You can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Um, Van Van? You rang, rang. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I like those poses. With fucking JoJo. Yeah. Over yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all doing a JoJo thing. Dang. <laughs> and they blink. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, so they're definitely in that pose just forever. Hey. hey! I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow you to attend astute people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. I thought I heard them digging at something. Oh, no, I think that was here. It's, yeah, I think that's me. <laughs> Just back up a little bit and have my nervousness happen a little further from the mic. Uh. Psh, see you later, losers. <laughs> we approach the door. You see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to us. This kid is the key to everything. I know yeah, this. He's, okay. This he's is, the turning point. He's the gone. <laughs> this kid is going to be the key to everything. He'll, he knows all the information you ever need, but you just don't know it yet. <laughs> uh, this kid's the chosen one. An oopsie made a poopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, poop shards, so. <laughs> I think it's Maybe broken. A, dropped a shard. <laughs> I think I vaped my shards to death. <laughs> you reach forward and easily pull the door open. Ah, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Would someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. His name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh. I'm Pop. Hi, Pop. I'm Poop My Shards 420, so... Are you going to make me hold this door all day? No. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? He's kind of a kid? Kind of a child. I, I think it's just you. 
and you both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Oh. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in. Damn it! <laughs> I can't stop the animals from going nuts. Uh, uh, keep those busy shit shedding. <laughs> A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the, the podium eyes. in front of the class. Adorable. No, no, quit it down, everyone! Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? Is no one gonna question why there's a dog cooking food? <laughs> because it's super powerful. He's the head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. The United States Marine Corps. Yeah! <laughs> He's the head CEO of it. <laughs> Like, we all go, knew go, go, go. we all knew is all about money. <laughs> Everyone knows it. <laughs> Please Confirmed. call me Professor Dog. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! <laughs> what? A cute dog is our professor. This is the best school <laughs> ever! <laughs> I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. It may be that they can pick apart all of the intricacies of food, but then they're like, This is awesome, no matter what. Um, because <laughs> also, they're going to be like, this shit is awesome, and it's actually just shards. <laughs> They'll be all like, ooh, this is garbage. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm chilly, someone closed the window. And then he oh, oh. he walks in. Was that some doki doki literature <laughs> shit? <laughs> some just Monica shit? He walks in. <laughs> I was at Taha's, uh, in. Taha's, uh like birthday thing the other day. Well, it wasn't like the big birthday thing, it was just a little birthday thing he was doing. Mm -hmm. For the one the later do. But <laughs> Uh, one of his friends had every piece of clothing he was wearing a Doki Doki Literature Club thing. He had a big snapback hat. He had a, like a t-shirt and a jacket. And I'm impressed. Everything was Doki Doki Literature Club thing. I walked in, I look at this guy, I'm like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he was cool. But... <laughs> He was, walks in. He walks in. <laughs> You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatsee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> it's him. It isn't my favorite student who's better than the rest of these mouth-breathing fucks. Harland. Wait. Harland. Is that the first day? I don't know. Guess not. <laughs> Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before we before he can finish that sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Well, good thing you're already wet. Because you were sweating! <laughs> Don't worry. I'm plenty wet. Uh, sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be Sweaty Sweats a lot, baby. Burn, you little freak. <laughs> Maybe you should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Jesus. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class, and what is it with your really weird insults? Besides, when poop my shards 420 sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. <laughs> this is getting into some, like, fetish shit here. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at that shimmer. Look, look at that shimmery sweat of poop my shards. <laughs> oh God! We we know who this is for. <laughs> Everyone knows why We've they're sweating. We've met the guy who this is for. 
you turn and find Colonel. Do I? I guess I do. Okay. Because I don't know why this is a choice. Colonel Sanders, beautiful, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Oh, howdy! This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Wee! -hoo! Is that how he's talked already? Up to this point? Um, uh, I didn't. I don't uh, know. I, I didn't read it that way, yeah. but I will from going forward. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's Kentucky. Kentucky. Please, use my handkerchief! You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Well, he's blowing kisses, so it can't be that bad. Well, take it. I'm gonna take it, obviously. You stretch out your hand. Not gonna right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, my my old tactics would work in a different game. But, yes. <laughs> of being the worst at all times and that having working out for me, but I don't feel like the Colonel Sanders corporate tie-in game <laughs> is gonna be that. <laughs> <laughs> Fine silk paint. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken. <laughs> it smells like the back fryer room of a KFC, <laughs> huh? It's <laughs> natural. Like, like how your natural scent is just greasy ass fried chicken. And you're just like, oh yes, my favorite, most delicious natural scent. Maybe he's born with it. Chicken sweats. <laughs> Maybe it's KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you, but there will, there will be tears. There will be blood. There might even really be adorable tiny food. There's blood we have to keep... It contained and away from the food. Yeah. Yes. Immediately yeah. walk away and don't continue baking afterwards. Exactly, right? Yeah. yeah. And when it's all said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and complete the broom cook compete in the broom cooking arena. You know that they're gonna shank each other. <laughs> you know. And I would like to see like a a real KFC slobber knocker. <laughs> You could probably go on YouTube and find a few. <laughs> probably. At this point, probably. Slobber knocker? Uh, a fight. Ah, okay. Yeah. There, I'm pretty sure I could find a few KFC fight videos on YouTube. Is that just people fighting in a KFC? Or yeah. is it people fighting about KFC? Um... I mean, in a KFC is probably... Because people fight everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And Whatever excuse I can, yeah. really. Like, Burger King's got a lot. Also, Denny's, I think, has really? a whole bunch. A lot oh, of fights. Yeah. Well, they're open really late. Or even 24 hours. Yeah. Wait, why would they fight at a place that has people in it? I, I don't know. Funsies? I think the fight starts there. Oh, okay. Okay. Just like they're, they're already in the place. There two people start having a disagreement, and then they don't know how to resolve conflicts and peacefully so, so they fight okay <laughs> just then another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech hi guys sorry i'm late i hope everyone had a good summer i really miss quiet late to class is bad enough but interrupting my monologue you're on the fast track out of here young man are you sure you're even in the right place don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Wait, so... does Is everyone on the track where they go to school for three days? Do they go for three days every year? No clue. I don't know the dynamics of this at all. <laughs> They're learning a, a lot of... Like, algebra. On the, like, oh, yeah! Pretty... Oh. Uh, yeah, they got some songs. They got some... Pretty standard high school level algebra right there. Yeah. 
Has no one remembered me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish! Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable! Even Clyde made it here on time, rolling halfway across town at his tidy wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Oh, okay. Huh. The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal! Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh. Mm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking care of yourself and not eating KFC every day. Yeah. You never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but... Sprinkles' reputation for being smart and tough is well known. You decide to try to buttering up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Chicken? Oh, yeah. Chicken? I mean, yeah. he may be a dog, he may want- I, I like how you press- you just press this, it just formats your hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> no! Obviously not beef! <laughs> you reach beneath your apron and return with the chicken stack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go as wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. It would be. Well, well, I think there might be some competition for my new star student. Oh. The furry professor. The furry professor immediately devours the snack. He's just a guy in a suit. <laughs> it was like, I can't believe there's a talking dog in, in my classroom. And it's like, mm-hmm. Leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see other students eyeing you jealousy, but pay no mind to them. If they want to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treats flavors upon them at all times. <laughs> or just chicken ever. <laughs> yeah. uh, settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary recreation. <laughs> culinary creation. Recreation, yeah. Recreation. As everyone, as everyone, as everyone rushes to claim their favorite seat, no one's talking here. <laughs> You're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, poop my shards 420. There's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me if you're interested. You've got the, the voice. Oh. No one claimed oh, the seat yeah. next to me. It's kind of fucking me up a little bit. <laughs> well. Um, well. All right, bestie, you're cool, but Gotta we're, go play hard paint. we're playing the fucking chicken San Colonel yeah. Sanders video game. Like, what would yeah. happen if you sit by your next friend? Just be like, oh, I wish I was sitting next to She's Colonel Sanders. <laughs> He's like, come sit next to me, and you're like, I'd give up my friends for KFC, bitch. <laughs> I would give up my family. I would kill someone and not and feel nothing for KFC. <laughs> Move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect up upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for thanks for offering me the seat. I only have two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. <clears throat> Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Oh, okay. Yay, a quiz about me. <laughs> this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is leaving point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Of course, it's extremely. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a job here. <laughs> I taking, just want a it's job. It's like that employment questionnaire thing yeah, that they yeah. have before. Like, they're like, so if you see someone stealing, what do you do? <laughs> it's like, watch the wash training video. <laughs> wash your hands. But then you just skip the training video, get to the questions, and you're like, duh, 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 
Duh. Duh.